Hey everybody, Ron from Campfire Grub, and I'm actually out here in the Ocala National Forest with my girlfriend Ashley, and we are out here riding around. We're going to go ahead and cook up a, like a breakfast lunch, and then we're going to go ahead and go over to Alexander Springs, go check that out, and uh, ride around for a bit today. So here's a little bit of a layout of some of the things that we are going to use to cook up our food today. We've got some brie cheese, some cream, milk, chicken, eggs, some flour. We're actually going to cook up some crepes and then we're going to make like a cream sauce with some chicken to go ahead and put inside the crepes. So we got our chicken here. We're going to go ahead and throw some quick seasonings on it. We've got some garlic. Throw that right in the pan with some butter and a little bit of oil. All right, so why the chicken is go ahead and cooking. Um, Dump in some eggs, and we'll go ahead and scoop in some butter. Now we also added in two eggs in here, our milk, our water, a little bit of butter some salt. Now we're just kind of mixing it up, getting this ready to go. So once I pull off the chicken off the stove, then we'll go ahead and start making our crepes. Now we're going to start up with our cream sauce. I already threw in some heavy whipping cream in here in with the chicken. Now we're going to go ahead and put in some sweet cream here. Dump all of that in there and make this a really creamy sauce. So we'll add that in. And then I also have some brie cheese that I'm gonna go ahead and slice up and throw in there as well. Throwing in some brie cheese. Our cream sauce is starting to thicken up. Our chicken's still down in there cooking away. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a little mix around. And here soon we're gonna start working on the crepes and let this sit and thicken up. And then we'll go ahead and dump this on our freaking luscious looking crepes once they're done. Looks like our cream sauce is pretty much all bubbled up and ready to go. Um, we have our chicken in there. Um, I'm not using the best stove, but it works. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off here in a moment and start up the crepes. And like a normal trip to Ocala National Forest, it's raining. Good news, we're underneath this tree, it's relatively protecting us and uh, it's just a light drizzle. Not too bad. All right, so I'm actually in a slightly different part of the Ocala National Forest uh, today. Usually I'm a little bit more in the north end of the forest, up by Hopkins Prairie and the Bombing Range, but today we're actually out here kind of near Alexander Springs. So it's a little bit of a different change of scenery, 
But one thing that always stays the same, the rain. quick view here on the crepes so for some weird reason when you cook crepes um, the first couple ones you do are trash but then once you start going down the line these are the first ones we made these are the last couple and they just get better and better and better and here's our last crepe before we go ahead and throw on the cream sauce with the chicken Our crepes are finished up, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a few of the crepes and just roll them up on the plate as such. Um, this one doesn't quite want to roll as well, but we've got it kind of rolled up here. Then we're going to go ahead and take, come over here to our chicken and cream sauce. Grab our spoon here. Whoops, that one came undone. Oh well, we're out here in the Ocala National Forest, it doesn't have to look too pretty. So we're going to go ahead and take some of our chicken, plump that right on there, get some of this luscious cream sauce, drizzle it all right across the top, here, Here you have it. Here is the crepes with the chicken and the cream sauce that we whipped up. And this is gonna go ahead and be our, I guess we can call this brunch. I mean, it's noon right now. We haven't had breakfast yet or lunch. So here it is. We're gonna go ahead and eat it up and let you know how it tastes. So we're about to ride on to the next part of our adventure. Um, Ashley's still working on her food because it was absolutely burning hot. Um, so what do you think of it so far? It's very luscious. Very it's very luscious. luscious. Awesome. And that's what she has left. I mean, this cream sauce with this chicken and the crepes, it absolutely came out perfect. Uh, probably would be a lot better if it was like a cold winter day. to just get warmed up by all that luscious cream sauce. Tree. Nope, you will not scratch your vehicle in Ocala National Forest. That's not a thing here. So we're rolling up now on Alexander Springs Recreational Area. Um, the weather's starting to go downhill a bit. So hopefully it holds up and we can at least get to check out the spring and maybe swim for maybe a few minutes or hike around first. So let's see how lucky we are. So, so far the weather seems to be holding up, so we're just going to go ahead and hopefully it stays that way. Um, most of the other people around here seems to have cleared out. Uh, there's still some people around, so hopefully we'll be able to get a nice little area of the spring, maybe swim around for five minutes without it being too bad. So we just came out of the spring. This is actually Ashley's first time in any spring in Florida, or actually any body of water actually in Florida so it was pretty chilly um, the weather seems to be holding up so far um, and it's not bad I mean it's basically a swimming pool more or less super easy starter spring uh, nothing major there's a nice little canoe launch over there uh, pretty nice little paddle run uh, for paddle boards kayaks canoes and uh, I think I froze out Ashley I think she's frozen so we're going to go ahead and dry off and continue riding around. Um, this place is also pretty full of scuba divers. The water's pretty blue over there. That's actually where the hole is to the spring area. And they actually have a washing station. Um, tons of mud here. It's a pretty muddy place. So I think it's time to go ahead and rinse off our feet.
You know, just riding around, checking out the campgrounds. Now we're cruising on to the next thing that we're going to check out. I'm not actually going to disclose the area because it's just all part of the fun of researching it. But there's numerous little springs and little mini swimming holes all throughout Ocala National Forest. And I'm about to go check out one that I have never been to. So we're going to go ahead and go check it out. But first we got to drive five miles or so down this bumpy little road. So we just paused for a second here and I had the windows rolled down and I didn't, and I felt how cool it was outside. It is actually 74 degrees outside. Weather feels amazing. Hopefully the rain holds up and we can continue on to our next spot and it's not full of water. So quick update on the adventure out here in Ocala National Forest. Um, I made a wrong turn too quickly on the GPS, got into some soft sugar sand, got the Tacoma stuck, but thanks to my traction boards, my snatch rope, and a random guy that's probably a local to the Ocala National Forest, we were able to get out and I found a better trail to our destination. And here we are. It's another random old graveyard that's out here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how old it is. So this is actually the old Shockton Cemetery. And I'm going to try to zoom in here on this. 1870. random creepy thing here that we found so this time the gates actually locked yeah so the gates actually locked on this one so we can't actually enter inside um, even if we oddly wanted to but as you can see it's all locked up lock looks like it's been here a few minutes Maple Grove Cemetery. So I think Ashley discovered deer moss for the first. I don't know exactly where she's going. I just looked over here and she is like wandering off into the woods. So, uh, Let's see what's over here. But we do have a plethora of deer moss. We were on our last little bit of the woods ride, so I decided to take a break from driving. Um, so we're gonna hope for the best, and Ashley went ahead and took over the driving here. So let's go ahead and hopefully all works out. Um, I do have an ARB bumper on the front of my truck, so if we do hit a tree, we should be good to go and be perfectly fine. I'm not gonna hit a tree. She's doing pretty well for a Jeep driver. So it's a little bit bumpy as uh, Ashley's still driving down the Ocala National Forest here. So when we went to Alexander Springs, they actually sell stickers now. So uh, we picked up this neat Armadillo Ocala National Forest sticker. And then also this, whoa, 
steep bumps and pretty steep drop off. Good thing we didn't go into the river. Um, <laughs> you have no faith in my driving. So we also picked up this neat little Alexander Springs sticker. So they also had quite a variety of different stickers, but these are the two that we went ahead and picked out. All right, so just to give you an idea of how deep this water is out here on some of these roads, I mean, this four-wheeler is like damn near submerged out in the water. So yeah, sometimes it gets kind of wet out here. All right, so that concludes our adventure out in the Ocala National Forest. We rode around, we cooked up some crepes with some cream and some chicken. Uh, checked out Alexander Springs, looked at the old graveyard, and trail rode around a bit. So uh, that's all for now, and I'm tired of driving. I drive for a living, so uh, Ashley's going to go ahead and drive the rest of the way home. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and uh, we're going to keep these videos coming at least once a week.